Hello, YouTubers. Joe Kersey here on uh, Saturday, September 15th, uh, 2018, the day after Holy Cross Day, if you observe that, uh, and a lot of Christian churches do, some Protestant churches too, as well as the Roman Catholic and Orthodox. As I said, some Christian churches observe it. That's about all the theology I'm going to talk about today, such as it is. Uh, the, uh, I'd be out on the back deck shooting this or down in the driveway shooting it, but there's just so much traffic going by that with the camera I'd be using, all you'd hear is the traffic. I'd be having to talk real loud. So I'm, I'm taking the lazy man's way out here with a 12, meg, 12 megapixel webcam on my MacBook Pro, mid-2014 model. Uh, we've had a bit of good news uh, at the church, uh, potentially good news anyway. Uh, the, the search process is over. And a new rector has been called. Well, he didn't, the call didn't have to go out too far because this guy's coming down from uh, in a, you know St. Paul's Parish in uh, Mount Vernon, Ohio, which, uh, from where I live, uh, is about. Well, I've been up there several times hauling wood for these guys that build things for the church and uh, uh, it's about a 40 45 minute drive from here so I mean you know, I live 14 miles south of the church okay uh, you know my understanding is he uh, but see see this guy this guy already lives in Dublin Ohio which is on the very north edge of Columbus uh, it's, it is to where I live, it is on the west side in the area, area you know, similar to where I live in relation to Columbus. Uh, it's a very high dollar suburb. Well, I mean, this is a high dollar neighborhood too nowadays. Good grief. Fortunately, we're not incorporated, thank the good Lord on that one. In any case, he and his wife lived down there, so he's basically going to be cutting what would be currently for him around a 60-65 uh, uh, mile commute to go back and forth from where he lives to the church up in Mount Vernon, uh, down to around probably a, about a 20 mile commute. From Delaware down to Dublin, you know, from his house and up to the St. Peter's Church. So, so he's going to lose, you know, he's going to drop a lot of commuting time, which which will be nice for him. Um, and you know, and he won't have to move. I mean, he's already, you know, I'm sure he's not going to move up to Delaware. You know, another reason I'm pretty sure is because this guy's 63 years old, and in the Episcopal Church they have to retire at 70. And when they retire, they can no longer stay and hang around the church that they were rector in. They have to move on somewhere else. Go to church somewhere else. You can't hang around anymore. So that means that means he'll be gone in seven years, and that means we'll be going through the entire process again all of the discerning all, you know, all of the the parish evaluation you know, you know the discerning the searching the calling every seven years it seems like you know for some reason St. Peter's can't seem to hold on to these guys for more than seven years well, this time, you know, this guy's going to time out. He's going to self-limit himself because he's going to turn 70 in seven years. So it's not like 
It's not like our previous one did, who was here seven years and then bailed out and went down to the east side of Columbus. Or the one before that that was here seven years and bailed out and went down to Cincinnati. You know, I very much like both those two previous rectors. You know. I'm not bad nothing at all. And I'll probably like this one too. You know, he's obviously an experienced guy. Uh, uh, he's established, you know. Yeah, so his first day is going to be All Saints Sunday, November 4th. So that's great. Um, now, I'm reading tomorrow at 8 o'clock, and so uh, given that the interim rectors have to leave four weeks before the new rector comes, and we have just supply priests for those four weeks, that's how they do it. Um, maybe Bridenthal will wave his hand and issue a dispensation or something. Uh, in any case, uh, I think this will be the last time I'll be even interacting with uh, Terry Highland in any way, um, which is kind of a shame because I really, you know, I like the guy. I mean, he just he, he's he's a he's, he's a good guy. You know, he just got a shitty assignment, and uh, you know, and he's been here. I mean. Our first day without a rector was the first Sunday in January of 2015, the first Sunday. You now, Roseanne, you know, Ro uh, Roseanne Lonsway filled in for the first four months, about the, you know, so about the third week in April. And then she went off to her new parish in Willoughby, Ohio. And then we had a, we had a series of really nice interims, not interims, but supply priests. You know, one I really, really liked. Um, but, you know, he, was, he, he couldn't take the job because, you know, he was like 73, you know. But he, he's the kind of guy I would really like to see us get in here. And I don't, I doubt, I doubt, the, this fellow looks an awful lot like our current interim rector. You know, established, you know, uh, just... Yeah, no, he looks, in fact, even he and his wife, the picture of he and his wife look very much like the picture of our current interim rector and his wife. Yeah, it's, that's okay. That's all right. I'm sure, I'm sure the guy's going to be fine. I mean, shit. Um, basically, he's coming into a turnkey operation, you know. Anyway, so I thought I'd read you the, uh, the official announcement here. This came out uh, the 14th. Uh, welcome to St. Peter's. On November 4th, St. Peter's will welcome the Reverend David Kendall Sperry, hyphenated, uh, as its new rector. Uh, it says, Father David, I will refrain from using that appellation. Uh, I will call him. I will call him Reverend David. Reverend David will become the thirty-third rector of our historic Episcopal Church in Delaware, Ohio. He comes to us from the Diocese of Ohio, which is the, the north half of Ohio. It was, you know, the, the Ohio Diocese was cut in two when they formed the Diocese of Southern Ohio, where we are. He comes to us from the Diocese of Ohio, where he's been serving as rector of St. Paul's Mount Vernon. We thankfully welcome. Reverend David and his wife Karen into our congregation in our community of Delaware, Ohio. The search committee and vestry of St. Peter's unanimously approved his calling me, and are very excited to begin this journey of ministry with him. Reverend David and Karen have lived in the Columbus area for more than two decades and we currently reside in Dublin, Ohio. Hopefully there will be an opportunity to meet Reverend David and his wife sometime during the month of October. Let us all welcome them warmly into this new, into his new rectorship, 
hyphenated, interestingly, a uh, little problem with that, and into our beloved community of Delaware, Ohio. Uh, this is an unsigned notice. Uh, I have my suspicions of who might have written that. Actually, it could have been a lot, lot more flowery and used a lot more jargon, so, okay. Good. So that's good news. Good news. Good news. Truly, it is good news. Uh, I mentioned the traffic earlier, uh, which up, you know, up until about an hour ago was really bad. And I thought maybe it was because of the football game. You know, it's Saturday. I maybe it was a football game down at the stadium or something. Uh, but no, the Ohio State football team's playing down in Arlington, Texas tonight. I guess the game's on at 8 o'clock, which means it'll run until 12.30 in the morning <laughs> because of all the ads and timeouts and shit. <laughs> I won't be staying up to watch that, given that I've got to be up at, like, 5 o'clock tomorrow morning to read and hear Um, things are moving on toward the trip. I've got, I got a notice today from the trip, uh, director that, you know, uh, you know, announcing his name and his phone number and this and the final list of the hotels and the hotel phone numbers and addresses, uh, and including a picture of himself so that, you know, I guess we can recognize him at the airport when we arrive, <laughs> which is useful. And um, so yeah, so on Monday I'll uh, I'll call the credit card and debit card people about you know using these cards overseas. I keep I keep scooting around on you, uh, and then I want to arrange uh, one of these AT and T you know where I can call from overseas and more to the point text from overseas you know. Uh, and again, I've, de I've decided I'm not going to take my laptop uh, over there, even my second, you know, my number two laptop. Uh, I just don't want to tote around the extra five pounds, quite honestly. And, uh, uh, I may not even take a camera bag. I might just pack, pack my two portable, you know, point and shoot cameras in my in my luggage and slip them into my coat pockets when I'm walking around uh, you know that's I have a very small I have a very small bag it looks like one of these man bags you know or messenger bags I might take that and use it um, you know it's not it's not bulky at all We'll see. I need to charge the batteries and all these things anyway. <laughs> Again, just be sure they're topped up. Uh, be sure I've got enough SD cards, which I do. Uh, I've got a couple of SD cards I may need to erase because I've got all their stuff in my hard drive anyway. So, uh, so we'll see on that. So some thinking to do on Monday. No, oh, I don't know, maybe tomorrow too. I need to I need to do a little 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 small load of laundry before I go. Assuming we don't get flooded out here by this rain from Florence. Meanwhile, you know, my my goddaughter's down in uh, uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Which I guess, you know, it's going to get a lot of heavy rain. And, and actually, Laurenburg, North Carolina, where my, well, the wife of my now dead friend lives, you know, the mother of my daughter, or goddaughter, uh, uh, I know they've been getting a lot of rain. Uh, and I've, you know, I've spent a lot, I have spent a lot of time in that area. And, uh, you know, you get, you know, you, you get a, Three or four or five inch rain, you you're going to be driving through water on the roads. You know, 
it's sandy soil, and you know, and there, it's a lot of swamps, so a lot of it just sort of kind of drains off real fast. But you know, it's you'll get stuff, you know. And of course, I mean, that's exactly down where the you know that's where you get to all the snakes coming up out of the swamps and. What you doing down that swamp, boy? Do, 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 You'll all take note that I whacked my hair off this morning, so I, I look suitable for going through airport security. Would you question me? Me? Okay, well, I've had some fun here today. Uh, so uh, I will be probably talking to you one more time before I leave on uh, I'll leave on Thursday, the 20th. I need to notify Liz because Liz is going to drive me to the airport and then she's going to pick me up when I get, you know, when and if I get home. <laughs> God bless her. So I'll, I'll have to text her because she doesn't like to communicate by email. <laughs> so bye-bye, YouTubers. <laughs>